Hi guys, my name is Tanmoy and welcome to another session of Study PPC. Today we are going to look at how to create a video outstream ad campaign. Outstream ad is one of the video ad formats which you get to create inside the Google Ads account. Uh, this is one of the only ad types which comes outside of Google, of YouTube and you will be able to see these ads on other video content websites. Okay, this ad's primary objective is to provide us brand and awareness and that's the main purpose with which we create these ads. As I told earlier, in order to create any kind of video campaigns, the first thing which you will have to do is you have to get your video made and upload it on your YouTube account. And then you can link your Google Ads with your YouTube account and then create these campaigns. So let's first look at how to link our Google Ads account with our YouTube account and then we'll get into the campaign creation process. In order to link your Google Ads with your YouTube account, guys, we can click on the settings on top right and we can go to the linked account section in linked accounts you will come across youtube as you can see over here and we can go to the details of it here as you can see it says we can link youtube to google ads so for that you can click on add channel and here you can type your channel name you can paste the url easily and a drop down will open in this particular manner and you can select the uh, the specific channel it will also ask you to select the owner of the channel if you are the owner then you can click on i own this channel and you can go to youtube and continue the account linking process and finish that or else you, if somebody else is the owner of this channel then you can give your email address and a request will be sent to the owner to give you access for it once this is done your Google Ads will be linked to your YouTube account and now you can come back and create the Outstream Ad video campaign. In order to create this campaign guys, we are going to start with clicking on new campaign and now again we will get the option to choose a goal for this campaign. Now as I told you, uh, Outstream Ad's primary objective is branding and awareness creation. So we have to choose the brand awareness and reach goal. This is critical guys if you don't do this you will not get the option to create the outstream ad okay so we select our goal and then we have the choice of choosing the campaign type so we can choose video here and now you have the second option which is bumper uh, we are looking at outstream okay so we can create the outstream ad over here and we can click on continue and now we are coming to the campaign settings page where we can start filling up all the details so the first thing which you can fill here guys is you can give a name for this campaign and then we can see the bid strategy for this campaign is cpm which is cost per thousand impressions which we can pay here you can set the budget for the campaign as well now since it's a video campaign we have two options daily budget which is basically the average money you are willing to spend on this campaign on a per day basis or you can go for campaign total wherein you can give a total money for this campaign to be used for advertising for now i'm choosing daily budget and we can give the amount over here next you can give the start date end date of this campaign so you can select any date which will be the end date for it and then as you can see we're coming to networks it will show you that your ads are going to be shown on video partners of display youtube is not available as i told you that this ad comes outside of youtube then we are coming into location targeting so you can do all kinds of targetings over here starting from country city state pin code as well if you want to exclude certain locations you can do that as well by just searching for it here and then adding them next we are getting into the language targeting so you can select any kind of languages which your customers speak from this list provided and now we are coming to content exclusions so in content exclusions you have the first option which is inventory type so this talks about the type of inventory you want to target to show your ads on or the kind of content where you want to you want you want your ads to appear okay so for that google gives you three choices 
The first one is expanded inventory, which is a case wherein it tries to maximize the amount of ads being shown and it can be shown to aggressively to some sensitive content as well. Then you have standard inventory wherein the ads are shown on content which is appropriate for most brands. So it's a mixture of both. And then comes limited inventory. Limited inventory will be a case wherein it is being shown to a content which is sensitive, will not will never be shown to sensitive content at all. Next, what you have is excluded types. So you can choose the type of content which you want to exclude completely, which is not relevant for you from here. If you go to additional settings, you will get other settings to mark over here like conversion tracking. So if you want to set up an account level conversion tracking, you can do it from here or you can do a campaign level as well. In devices, you have the option to target your ads on specific devices based on operating system, device models and networks. Then we get into frequency capping. So this is a setting wherein you can put a cap on the number of times the ad is being shown in this particular manner on a per day basis to the same user. So you can give a number here or else you can also put a cap on the number of views you're getting on this particular ad okay, for the same user. So you can give a cap over here. Next, what we have here is ad scheduling, which is basically you can schedule your ads to run on specific day of the week or time of the day by selecting it from here. Next, we are coming into the ad creation process. So here you can add group creation process. So you can name the ad group. And then we get into the targetings of this campaign. Now, as you can see, it is like a display campaign wherein you can do your people targeting and content targeting. So under people targeting, you have demographics first. So you can select your demographics based on the kind of people you deal with on a daily basis. You can choose their gender, age, parental status and household income. Next, what we have is audience targeting. So in audience targeting, you have different types of targetings, which is possible, uh, which can be around detailed demographics. You have affinity targeting in market and life events. If you want to do remarketing, you have a audience list. You can link it over here or you can do combined audiences, which is a combination of different types of audiences, which can be done here and custom audiences. If you feel that custom audiences is something which is going to work for you. This is a type wherein if you feel that none of the audiences which are being provided fit, uh, fits your bill and is not relevant to your business, you can create your own audience set based on people's interest and intentions or the kind of searches they do on Google. So now you can select the categories as per your choice. Affinity will be based on people's interest and habits. So you can select in this manner. In the same manner, in market will be based on the kind of people who are in market or who are online most of the time and based on which different types of categories are created. So you can select like this. With life events, it's a category created based on people's various events happening in their life. So you can select those options in this manner. All right. So like this, we can do our audience targeting. And then as you can see, we are coming to content targeting, which will be based on the website's content. So the first one which you get is keywords or we also call as display keywords or contextual targeting. So you can give your keywords, which is related to your business over here, which will target all the relevant content on the Internet. Then you also get the option for topic targeting, wherein you can choose the topic which is most relevant for your business and those particular websites based on that will be targeted to show your ads. And finally, you have placement targeting where you can target specific videos or websites or app categories which are most relevant for you and those will be targeted where your ads will be shown. 
So here you will get a list of websites which is relevant to your business and you can select in this particular manner and you can also check out their traffic coming on a weekly basis. Then we are coming to the bidding part where you can give the bid for this campaign. And now we are coming to the ad creation process. So in this, the first thing what you have to do is you have to search the video or you can paste the URL of a video which is uploaded on your YouTube account. And now as you can see, the ad format is going to be an outstream ad. And since it's an outstream ad, we will have to provide the details. We have to write the ad over here. Give as much information as you can uh, so that it increases the probability of people clicking on your ads. You also have to choose a logo for your ad. So you can do that from here. And then you can finally give a URL, the landing page for your business. In this manner, we can create the ad and you can click on create campaign. So now you can see your campaign is ready. This is the summary of the campaign which we have built and you can continue to the campaign. Now this is a video outstream ad which campaign we have created. This is going to be our ad group. You can see the preview of the ad over here. This is how the ad is going to look like on other video content websites. If you want to see the targetings we did on this campaign, you can find it on the left panel. In keywords, you can see all the video keywords we added today and in audiences you will find all the different types of targetings we did in this campaign like in market affinity life event if you come to topics you will see the topic targetings we selected in placements you will see the websites which we selected related to our business as well so in this simple manner guys we can go ahead and create our video outstream ad campaign Alright, I hope this video was useful and you were able to understand how to create this campaign. If you have any questions guys, feel free to write in, our, in the comment section. I would be happy to help you with that. Thank you so much for today.